Make sure you subscribe today to get all the latest Fever 20 news. So let's move on to some career mode stuff and uh, there is a few things to talk about, a few testings that I need to do as well. The first one is apparently they've fixed this one. When creating a pro in player career mode, the maximum height can now be set to 6 foot 9. So let's take a look. We're going to test this one out. Let's uh, pick any guy here and we'll go to the athletic build here, the body. Let's go all the way up. It is 6 foot 9 now. So as you can see, 6 foot 9. And before the update, the maximum height you could do for a player is six foot two so they've actually increased it by a bit and uh, yeah for those people that want to look like peter crouch you can do that now they've also addressed the following issues in career mode unable to skip pre-match cinematics for some important matches when creating a pro in player career the black shoes were incorrectly showing as totally black when selecting a commentary name for a created pro in player career and pro clubs we have added the ability to page up and down through the lists of names all right so let's take a look at that one as well Alright, so it looks like they have added these toggles in. It's C and X on the PC, but I'm not sure what buttons they are on the console. And as you can see, we're going down with a touch of a button. We're going up with a touch of a button. So instead of like doing it manually one by one now, it saves you a bit of time, makes things a little bit quicker as you can go down and scroll a little bit faster. In career mode, commentary would sometimes reference the previous season incorrectly. And they've also addressed the following issues. Editing the kit for players through the customized screen was resulting in the changes to other aspects of the player, such as their position or attributes. So that's something that was a big thing as well, because people would edit their player in the main menus and then go into career mode, the players change overall and players change position as well. So let's test that out, see if it's fixed. So this is before the update. I'm just going to show you guys what it used to do. So pretty much we go to Xhaka here because he's the prime example of this. He's a center mid, 81 overall, so just remember those two things. If we change his uh, shirt and we tuck it in, it will actually change his overall end rating or position in career mode. So that's what used to happen. And once we're in career mode, you can see Xhaka has changed position. He's gone from center mid to cam, and his overall went from 81 down to 76. So that's what used to happen. All right, so we're on the update now. Let's take a look at Xhaka. Center mid, 81 overall. Normally when I would edit him, he would change overall and position as well, so... We'll just tuck in his shirt, see if it makes a difference. So 81 overall and a center mid. Let's go into career mode and quickly check. All right, so we're on the squad menu here, and it looks like Xhaka stays as a center midfielder, and he stays as 81 overall. So it looks like they have indeed fixed this issue. And the last noted career mode fix was this one. Repeatedly entering and exiting the team management screens in various modes would cause the screen to become visually corrupted. So I think uh, some people have sent this in to me where the team management doesn't work. And I think they've fixed that now as well, but I'm not 100% sure. If you need something else to watch, make sure you click the card in the middle. It'll take you to another video of mine. I'll see you next time.